the music the moment you own it. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Don't be jealous. What's good, y'all? Devonta Hairman back with another video today. Today's video we reacted to Disney um, bootlegs, John Thorn. I don't know, it was, it was requested by a friend. Never seen this video before, but let's check it out. It's a 20 minute video. Jumptron. Okay, this looks like that's Mickey Mouse or something. So do you think you could run that whole thing by me one more time about where the light goes or whatever it is? Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Say it again, say it to my fucking face. Help me! Wow, Boo. Okay, you what's sure going on right here? And I wish I never invited you over. Just as a heads up, I think something's wrong with your friend Bootleg Zazu over there. You might want to check it out. Oh, hey. Well, what's that? Hey, Jock, what do you got for us today, buddy? Tally ho! I've come bearing news from the heart. That reminds me of that one pair of a SpongeBob. What's his name? Potty? You will never know my suffering. Forever trapped inside this robotic husk. All right, that's great, Jock. I'll see you later. What do we have here? Oh, look at that, a cease and desist from Disney. Yeah, that's probably about right. All right, you two, get the hell out of my house. It's over. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Disney's lawyers could get to me a little too easily, but I'll tell you what- I feel like I got to see him before, though. And far better at Disney bootlegging. China. Such examples of their bootleggery include Bear of the Interest, the self-purported baby's toy, and also High Class Weapon, who farts his uh, very well-known catchphrase, please play under the adult inspect to protect. I don't pretend. Everyone knows that one. Like, we a chance, I'm interested in this bear! Yes, even a company like Disney, who is well-known to be so very protective of its brands, wasn't exempt from the video game bootlegging phenomenon, much to their dismay. These games, as usual, take all forms and are generally cobbled together, producing hilarious results much of the time. So let's have ourselves a mag mag magical <laughs> day, shall we? First off, let's have a look at some bootlegs based on the Lion King films, starting with, quite simply, a game called The Lion King. Hmm, copyright the Walt Disney Company. Well, at least they were nice enough to attribute it to the right people. Uh, that music, I don't think that's the Lion King. Mowgli begins his journey through the lion to find the man village. Mowgli, huh? The true, true to whole lion, huh? Also, Mowgli's head is down here. Why is this just the Jungle Book? This is just the Jungle Book game for NES with minor things changed. Like, instead of Mowgli, it's a bipedal lion that doesn't look like anything from the Lion King. Y you're still ripping off Disney with the Jungle Book. Why didn't you just rip off a Lion King game? This is some ass-backwards logic. Okay, what's this? Well, okay, he just making his character it. twerk or something. Join. Okay, next up. Okay, this is a little cringy though. King five. Don't know where three and four went. I'm sure they'll give some sort of synopsis for those of us who missed out. Timon is really having a good time here. Okay, you can tell by that mad flailing. In this game, you can select from three characters, Timon, Simba, and Pumbaa. Simba and Pumbaa look correct, but Timon has no ears and is wearing a bow tie. Like, what? You got the reference right on the other two. What's wrong with Timon? Oh, dear God, it's Walking Fingers. I mean, have you guys seen the movie? Uh, you couldn't have just put something here that wasn't Walking Fingers. A lizard. You know, a wildebeest. Not Walking Fingers is the main point I'm trying to make. This game is basically a reproduction of the one for Super Nintendo, but it controls much worse, and it's super glitchy. Sometimes you can get farther by manipulating the edge screen and scroll. It's pretty wacky. It's so hard to control. God damn it, no! Ah, out of line. 
lives. And the glitch was a uh, definite edition. Oh my God. GTA definite edition. just gives way. Yes, as you see it, this game is apparently infamous for its ridiculous game over sequences, which also include Timon crying while digging his own grave and Pumbaa jumping into a pot of scalding water. Somebody made this, folks. This is real. I can't understand. The rest of the game is pretty standard. It's not meant to be shocking or anything. Maybe they just thought that made sense. <laughs> what can I say? Circle of life, circle of death, huh? Because you know it's uh, circular. I can't live in this world anymore. I saw Timon bury himself while crying. I saw the Pumba cook himself. It's over for me. Ah, never mind. I'll keep going. I got the Lion King 2 on Genesis here, okay? How can I say no to that face? They're getting very close to just calling it the Lion King and having it be about the Lion King. Very close. We're almost there. Now, most bootleg games of this nature are made with recycled sprites and assets. But this one here is unique in that it was made from the ground up as its own game. You never know what you're going to get with this. From the day we arrived on the planet I was scared of Mufasa's face Seriously! Maybe they could have taken some of the face they gave to Mufasa and funneled it into little Simba over here. It looks like he got his head door slammed by Uma Thurman and killed Bill. <laughs> hmm, the Lion King is looking markedly more, uh, how you say, Chinese this time around. What was that pussy shit? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Alright, whatever. That's a little better, I guess. I'm not gonna scold you twice in a row. Whatever. The Lion King 2. We're in China now. Deal with it. Zone 1. Will in? What the hell is this? China. Well, I guess this is Will in. Good old Mufasa over here seems to get the joke, huh? Once again, given that this game was made from the ground up, I don't understand why every single enemy has nothing to do with the Lion King. This one kind of works on Mario rules. If you grab the big ball of gas, you turn into older Simba, and if you get hit, you turn into smaller Simba. Ah, crap, I died. <laughs> Wait, what, why? Why did, did he with the brutality? He's just hanging here again from a rope, this time not around his neck, granted. He's clinging to dear life while ominous music plays. I mean, do, do the Chinese just resent Simba or something? You can tell this game is supposed to play like the SNES version of Lion King, which the sprite of Simba is directly ripped from, but it can't quite pull it off. Jumps are hard, everything is floaty, and it's overall just pretty tedious. Ah, yes! Chin's tomb! How could I forget? The terracotta soldiers really tied it all together. And Scar was there. Yeah, around here they start getting too cute with their level design. It's like making a linear platformer wasn't enough for them. They had to show off their programming skills too. Like in this level, you come to a dead-end door that makes a weird noise when you show up to it. Now, come on, what is this, a glitch? What a joy. <laughs> So after like 30 literal minutes of me running around wanting to blow my brains out, I finally figured out what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to kill all the enemies in the section you're in, and only then will the door open up for you. But good luck, baby, because that's only door number one. That's a little, that's, out of life 200. That's a little tedious. Not to mention, you end up going back and forth between the same doors on accident because it all looks the same. Also, why right, that does look so tedious. Imperial China, the longer I play, the angrier I get about it. How the lions walk from Africa to there, it's pretty far. I honestly don't know why I'm still torturing myself by playing this. I've been here for over six hours and I've got nothing to show for it. All my life, leading up to this moment. Is that a nice and simple? Every last second. Yeah, nice and simple, so. Blessed. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, sorry. What's that? Oh, that's just a you can't make this shit up a lot. Oh, swastika. That was called me. swastika. No, guys, honestly, come on. If you're wondering where this imagery of Simba cruising atop a swastika laden blimp comes from, well, it's very simple, okay? Hitler was a big fan of the Disney Renaissance. <laughs> Well, anyways, after that life change, <laughs> you just walk off screen to the right and the game ends. 
What a way to go. And don't you see, the final boss was confronting the Nazi inside of all of us. Hell, I think at least, I don't know, that's all I got. Okay, moving on from the Lion King, we have Mulan for Genesis. I, I like Mulan, though. Maybe tread a little more lightly. Some people are trying to sleep around here. Let's Wanna get down to man. business. Well, I mean, to the I don't know, I, I, I it. I don't know if I'm ready to make the decision, though. But thanks for oh, that's not a bang. If you haven't seen the movie, this is a horribly mistranslated you reference to the song Be a Man for Me. Hey, at least they're trying to give us the option, You get huh? back right, before we throw. Of course. They don't Mr. I make a man out of you. I know my scene's off. Milan, what the fuck? You know those people. They're your friends. Yeah, in, in the movies, she's friends with these characters, but I guess in the world of pirated games, it's just a free for all. Oi, what is this? A Freddy Krueger glory hole? The absolute most I can say for this game is that at least it attempts to be somewhat familiar with the subject matter. The characters look pretty convincingly like they could be from an actual Disney licensed game, so, alright. Greatest Wall. Nah. It's completely subjective. <laughs> Snow Planet? Yeah, as you know, Mulan has always been the best sci fi. And he's dead. All right, nice job, guys, except for on those hearts. They're terribly, terribly asymmetrical, and you should be ashamed. Hey there, John. Who are you? I'm the Great Bootleg. That's hokey. And old Jontron was better. Wanna see something real bad? No. Too bad, bitch. Dying, 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 death, death, help, help, barf, 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 no one can stop the pain. Please, can you stop the pain? Oh, man. Okay, this is crazy, though. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This man got some sick editing skills. And then magically, John got the box of that disc. Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. Okay, every now and then, you see something you just can't believe is real. This is one of those moments. How could anyone have let this happen? Seven clever boys? Are, are these the boys? They don't look so clever. Uh, come to think of it, neither does anyone in this picture. They look like they were the result of a brother and sister who liked each other maybe just a little too much. This is an actual licensed game for the PS2. Shit, I would have preferred Lion King 2 over this nonsense. Oh, this is real, all right. Look at that menu screen. Okay, we got a confused starfish, an artistic crab, a very stupid alligator, and this thing. Oh, also, we got the main cast here in the middle feeling very stranded and very helpless to amend the situation they're in. Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys! What is that fucking name? Who made this? I'm not gonna get over that. I, I absolutely guarantee you I'm never. Oh, this is so that. cringe. I'm a clever boy. Put me in, huh? Put me on that. Give me in that. But I digress. This game starts off with like a film. Not quite so long ago, and not so far away, back near the to seventh menu, town to across menu, the seventh river, to menu, there is a beautiful menu, forest menu. kept perfectly in order by seven clever and thoughtful young boys. And here they are. And here they are. Let's get right to it. Come on. First, there was Cubby, who was like a small bear. A small bear? In what sense? Is who is that? Like a small bear. He's not even wearing a bear on a t-shirt or anything. And then there was Big Basil, who was huge. Well, for a boy, he was huge. Ah, it's too late, narrator. You already called the kid fat. It's not going back. And then Sonny, who took care of the plants <laughs> and the animals. What? Oh, hold on. Was also a very racist depiction of a black person. This game was approved by Sony with that in it? Nice call, guys. Really good one. Also, maybe, you know, next time, don't take too much fashion advice from Uncle Sam and the Harlem Globetrotters. Yeah, nah, bro. Yeah. Oh, sick lyrics, dude. Oh, here sick putting song. a sample on this game. Yeah, you're right now. The real game, if you could call it that, is just 
absolute nothingness. It's literally just mini games of sliding puzzles. But Jigsaw then again, though, puzzles. Disney does have a lot of what races, uh, racial stereotype they should make for the world um, well, you out stuff there this back in the past. All right, follow your dreams, but not this hard. Don't, don't follow right, your dreams. Oh, I just said Jungle like follow your dreams. Like the ring of chains and stuff is they're based on racial stereotypes of a black person. Well, I think we covered it all. I think that's everything. Oh no, bro. Frozen. I feel unexpected. I just like that song. But alas, I am synthetic. Alright, Chuck, come on, I'm doing something here. Dress up who? I got gotcha. you. This was a mistake. Well, actually, Dress Up Who is a website, I guess, with dress up games and girl games. We got Poo Kitchen Slacking. It's girl games. We got Clean Up Horse Farm 2. No boys allowed. Also, I got to check out Clean Up Horse Farm 1 sometime. Sounds sounds pretty good. Easily the most fascinating thing about this website is its section on Frozen games, which there are so many of, but nothing, nothing comes close to the majesty of the crowning jewel of this website. The one, the only, Elsa, frozen brain surgery. Frozen brain surgery. What? Surgery. I cannot even fathom this. At this moment, I'm truly dumbfounded. It's elegant, it's wonderful, it's got a low chance of survival. Oh my God, right there? Right in the, right in the brain? Okay. Nighty night, Elsa. It's magical. Well, I, Elsa, I think I, I, I see the problem. I see where, 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 you might, where you might be having some problems. Just gonna, just gonna remove these off of you, Elsa. Just don't worry, okay? This don't is run. taking bravery to another right level. Brain. And like nothing ever happened. This game was barely girly enough for me. I'm gonna need to see a more great girl games, please. You know, this is fucked right up. There she is. Let's measure that baby. How big is that baby? Yeah, that's about that's the size of a baby, everyone. Yeah, that baby's got a heart too. Unlike the creator of this shit. How many of these are there? This is a thing. Is this just like an unknown genre? <laughs> what the fuck? No! You are the most adorable baby in the world. I wouldn't say that. Oh my god, you're just gonna walk away? You're gonna turn somebody's baby into a zombie and just gonna you know, dawdle away? Your beautiful baby has a fucking hand coming out of his head now, you're just gonna look mildly disappointed she, when she just walks away? Is, it, is there a procedure for a zombification of baby? Just put a little ointment on it? Yeah, get some of that. Just drop that in the petri dish. Get that horn. Yeah, take the hand off. See, that was really bugging me. Oh, he's fixed. What the hell is this? Elsa, don't give me that cheeky look. All right, you got yourself into this mess. I'm the one helping you get out of it. You're not doing me any favors here. Elsa baby birth. Elsa milking cow. Pregnant Elsa foot check. Oh my God! Ah! Absolutely horrific. Elsa, what are you been doing out there? Why this? Why pregnant foot doctor? How do these concepts sync up? At least there's a nice snowman in the background. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, gee. Oh, Lord in heaven. Why? I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna actually throw up. I'm not even... <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. I'm actually gonna barf. I'm not fucking around. <laughs> I can firmly say uh, I didn't like Frozen 4, but that was a solid 10 out of 10 for me. Gonna go watch that movie again, give it, give it, a, give it a two thumbs up. I'm scarred for life. That's, this is not a joke. This is not a part of the program. This is for real. I'm, I'm... I can still see it. <laughs> Get out of my brain. <laughs> wow, what a ride. Thanks for watching. This episode of Alright y'all, this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace.